What's going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. So in today's video, we're going to discuss how we can uh, go from information in one portal and import that into another portal via a script. And basically what the script's going to use is just capturing variables and then doing some loops and then either deleting data or omitting it depending on your circumstance and how you want to set this up. I got this idea from the forum. They were saying, someone was saying that they have, um, they have like some type of record and then on that record they have, uh, multiple addresses. And what they do is they kind of make sure the address is perfect in one portal, but they want to remove it from that portal and go to another portal that is basically like the committed, the actual address that they want it to be. So that's how I got the idea, going from one portal to another, and then based off of their um, community post, they said that they wanted to delete the data. So the forum was talking about exporting the data and then re-importing the data, which you can do, but I just think it's a little bit faster if we use a script that will loop through that data. So right now I'm in FileMaker Pro, and all I'm gonna do is create two separate tables. So I'm just gonna call this table one and then probably table two. And then in each table, considering the the, the post was talking about um, like shipping addresses, I'm gonna do something around that lines around like on a multiple address fields because usually it's separated. So I'm just gonna say address, um, address one, let's do address two, city, state, country, zip code. And then all I'm gonna do is just take all these, copy them, because the data that they're talking about is the exact same between both tables. And the cool thing with doing this type of video is that this could be related to any type of data that you want. If you want, this, you can have like a portal of like materials and then you have your actual invoice, your line items that you just want to select from your list of materials and then just like click a button and it goes from one portal to the next. You could still do it this way too. So we're really not going to do any relationships. Actually, we we will need a third table because the, the whoever posted the community post, they said that they're on a specific record. So we need to relate this data somehow. So we're just going to say um, just record. Let's just say product or something like that. And the product will need to have, um, actually the tables will need product IDFK. And let's copy that one and then go to table two. We're going to paste that there. So in the relationship graph, we will have a for, uh, products layout and then this layout will have two tables table one and table two the primary key field will be related to the product idfk here and the product idfk down here now my understanding maybe would be that you would want to create the records in the portal one in the first portal um, by being able to click in that portal, add data. But table two, you don't want to be able to add data like that. You want the data to be, you want the data to go there based off of a script. So what we're going to do is we won't check allow the creation of records via this relationship because we want to go do that in the background. We're going to click OK there. And to be honest, what I'm seeing here, if we build it around that, meaning that it's not going to be just a single click button. We really don't actually need a loop. We can just uh, stay within this portal, create some variables for those values in that list, um, and then just go to this table and add those new records. So it should be that simple. We should click OK. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to that products one. Say edit. Let's just add a like a product like name or something product name and then let's just create a nice little title for this products just 
just make this look a little bit more fancy. Sweet. So we got products. We got a product name, and then we need some portals here. And basically, we just need to do portal one and portal two. So let's say we got portal one. And the cool thing with this is that they're going to be the same portal. So we can just create this once. We're going to add all of this data. And then basically what we want is we're going to have like a button. I'm just trying to do all the editing in this first portal and just make a copy. Let's say, say it's like a good button. So like, let's say they're, they're reviewing this address based off of some other records maybe, or uh, based off of like how an address is sh uh, like labeled on something specific for them. Maybe it needs to be in an exact way and they can go edit that data, cross reference it, and then someone approves that by adding it to the good portal. So let's say this was like called good. And then basically this button will just take all the information from this portal here. And we are just going to create a secondary portal. We're going to just call these portal one. And then portal two. And then we just need to change these occurrences. It's a little repetitive, but better than creating and editing a brand new table. All right. So we got table one, table two. Table two is not gonna actually need a button. Uh, actually, what we could do is we could probably do an undo button. Um, so let's do that. Let's do undo. For whatever reason that could happen. Because if you do an undo, then we can send it back to portal one. So we can actually do a little bit more here. So, now what we need, so now what we need to do is go into the script editor and basically all we're doing is we're going to save the data for one specific table and then delete that data right away because it's stored in our variables and then go and paste that data in each individual field uh, within the other table. So we're just going to do shift command S to go to the script editor and then this will be a uh, good and then let's look at this so basically we're going to be in this portal row and within this portal row we're just going to save the current data there so we're going to set variable and this variable name will be address one and the value for this address is going to be table one address one Click okay then we're going to set another variable address two Then we need to set a variable for the city. State. country and then the last one is a zip code
So now that we have the data at the data a part of the first table, one other thing we're going to need to do is also copy the current record that we on we're on, so we know which data to relate to for the second table. So the second table knows who it's related to. So what we need to do here is we need to set one more variable. And this variable is going to be the uh, product IDFK. Actually, no, the product ID. And that's just going to be this primary key field. And then basically, after we have all of that data, we can delete this portal, this portal row. So we're going to delete portal row dialog off. And then basically we need to go to layout. And the layout we need to go to is table two. And at this table two layout, we need to set first the set field, the target for table two is going to be the product ID of K, which is going to be this product ID, this product ID field, this variable that we set. So now the product is related. And then what we need to do is do the address one, address two, city, state, country, zip code. And then once we're done with all that, we need to go to layout, just go back to the original layout and then probably commit our records there. We need to change all of these variable names. So I'm going to go in here and copy all of my variables. And you might be thinking, aren't I just overriding my variables? But actually, I have this cool uh, variable or this cool um, clip history, clipboard history. And it keeps a record of all of my copies that I make in my clipboard history. This is a little tedious because you got to get all of the data in here. I think I want address two now. Yep. And then just address one. Sweet. So what we did there is we created the, the first portal rows data and variables. We set all the fields and specific variables by themselves, deleted that portal row. Then we're going to the table two layout and then we're create. Oh, that's one thing we need to do. We need to create a new record. We need to do not new record. So create a new record and then set all the fields that are part of that table to the same fields from portal one to the variables that we set from portal one. And then we just need to go back to the original layout and then commit our records. So let's check this out. Click uh, command S to save that script, close your script editor. And then we're going to perform a script on this good button. And let's test this out. We're going to create a basically a basic product here. Let's call this product YouTube. Portal one does not allow me to create records. So let's go to the dashboard here and check allow creation of records via this relationship. And then just going to create some basic data here. One, two, three, four. Let's say nothing here somewhere. Let's do somewhere. Let's do some editing here so that we see our placeholder. All 
right? So we got some placeholder text we know what we're looking at. I'm just gonna resize this so we can actually get it to fit. And let's go back to editing that data. So city. Okay, so let's just say this was an address we need to review based off of this user on the FileMaker community. They wanted to be able to take the data from this portal, remove it from this portal, and add it to another portal. So if we click this button here, we see that we just removed it from portal one and we added it to portal two. And we can keep doing this. Let's say this product had multiple lists, multiple addresses. YouTube Ave, say Riverside, California, United States, 92552. I'll just add a couple more. Facebook, let's say Mountain View. So now we have two records in portal one and we have uh, only one record in portal two. So let's just say we wanted to add, that one's good, but maybe this one was bad. So maybe we just don't add it or we can just delete it. Uh, we can do that by right click or selecting it and you can delete it up here or we can add a button. But it would be also cool if we took this a step further, basically doing the exact same thing we just did, but just reversing that. And basically all you gotta do for that is create another script. So we're gonna go to another script here and we are going to uh, rename this. Actually, no, let's duplicate this and then rename it to undo. And one little trick here, it's pretty cool when you have uh, FileMaker uh, plugins like the Monkey Bread software plugin. This allows you to do creative stuff with um, search and replace. So basically, I want to create all these variables again, but I'm in table one. So when you make very when you make tables that are almost identically the same, like I did here, table underscore one versus ton, table underscore underscore two, um, we can just change these. So we're just going to search and replace based off of the selection, and it says search for. Basically, I want to search for underscore one, and I want to replace it with underscore two. So replace that. So you can see that it did all that work for me. Delete that. And then basically what I got to do here is the same thing. Instead of being table one product ID of K, it's going to be table, table, instead of table two, it's going to be table one. So I'm going to do underscore two and then change this to underscore one. And there we go. And instead of going to table two, we're going to go to table one and then go back to the original layout. So now we just click exit out of there and then select the undo perform script and then undo perform script and then exit layout. And we should be able to go from this table back to the other table. So guys, this is a quick overview on how to take data from one portal and then send it to a second portal while deleting it in the first one and then undoing that change prop if you would like going from that second portal back to the first and we can see how quick this is nice and easy doing these nice good and undos pretty quick it's as a snap it's made based off of that script step it's super quick and super efficient so thank you guys for watching this video please like comment and subscribe it really helps me out uh, destroy the like button and until next time